patients will be recognized in a second patio. Thank you, Jim, for that insightful story. And good luck to all the BR athletes in their 2004-2005 seasons. For our final segment, we're going to look at some exciting news from Hillside Intermediate School. The Jane Goodall Institute officially recognized Hillside as a Roots and Shoots Academy for its environmental conscious programs. Jane Goodall herself spoke at the event. Correspondent Kelly Allison has a story. Their mission statement for the Roots and Shoots is uh, to foster respect and compassion for all living things. How does the Roots and Shoots program do this? Because every group of students involved, and this can be preschool through university, and it's in 80 countries, and every group sits around and works out three different kinds of projects to make the world a better place. One for their own human community, one for animals, including domestic animals, and one for the environment we all share. On Monday, September 20th, Hillside School became the first elementary school in the nation to earn the title of a Roots and Shoots school. Jane Goodall, as the founder of the Roots and Shoots program, as well as the Jane Goodall Institute, came to celebrate the ribbon cutting. This is really a very, very exciting day. And I think it would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge this wonderful day with a real demonstration of chimpanzee joy. <laughs> the event was very timely as International Peace Day was celebrated the very next day on the 21st. The Hillside students constructed for Jane a giant dove, an international sign and of peace inspired by the Roots and Shoots program. To cut a ribbon symbolizing the start of a whole new era in this great school of yours. This day marked the culmination of years of hard work. The foundations and beginnings of Hillside's involvement actually began in 1993 at Adamsville School. Katrina Mock's class was invited to the opening of a Roots and Shoots school in Connecticut through their involvement with the UN. Mrs. Mock and her students took an immediate interest in the program's mission and wrote letters to Jane Goodall. And from that point on, my students and I started corresponding with her, and she actually wrote back. She didn't have a secretary writing back or an assistant. She wrote back herself. And then uh, in 2000, we donated some money. My students donated some money to the Jane Goodall Institute for the um, Adopted Chimpanzee Program and were able to actually give the money to her personally. And from that point on, we were able to keep a really close network with her. And then she did ultimately come to our school for Forest Fest. And what do individual groups like Hillside School, what do they do to help the Roots and Shoots uh, with these environmental issues around the world? Well, schools like Hillside provide the environment to nurture the students and help them to learn about the world around them and encourage them in activities that can benefit animals, people, and the environment. So when you have an understanding school, and sometimes a whole school system, then you find that young people, first of all, they acquire knowledge and understanding about the world around them. And then they're given the opportunity to tackle some of these projects, to roll up their sleeves and, and jump in there. And they learn about hard work and persistence, never giving up, even if it doesn't work the first time. And finally, in the right environment, you nurture inner student love and compassion, and that leads to respect for all living things. Jane came back to Bridgewater in 2002 to help celebrate Hillside's Forest Fest. She talked with Three Mrs. Mock about the dream and possibility here. of making Hillside and an official Roots and Shoots school. There was school. a dream, and Katrina Mack and I talked about this dream, that maybe Hillside School could become a Roots and Shoots school. And today that dream has become a reality. And Hillside is one of the very few schools anywhere in the world that is incorporating the Roots and Shoots philosophy into its very fiber into the philosophy of the school itself. The students and faculty at Hillside embraced this dream and started working harder towards this goal. Hillside had embodied many of the principles that are found in the Roots and Shoots uh, program of philosophy. For one thing, we have been involving outdoor education for the last nine, ten years. We have been involved in promoting leadership in students as well as community service. So it seemed only natural when Dr. 
uh, Jane Goodall's Institute invited us that we would embrace this. Uh, Through the process of becoming a Roots and Shoots school, the students and faculty at Hillside have done many wonderful things, truly embodying its principles. For example, the week before this celebration, five Hillside students attended the United Nations International Day of Peace Conference, bringing the school to attention at a worldwide level. Dr. Goodall Roots and Shoots program have shown us that young people can make a change in this world. Just this past Friday, Hillside alumni, representing Roots and Shoots USA at the United Nations International Day of Peace celebration, were recognized for raising $2,400 to purchase sports equipment for Roots and Shoots members in Lungfugo Refugee Camp in Tanzania. The mission statement of Roots and Shoots has become integrated into the teachers and very fabric of the school as witnessed by the strong emphasis on the concept of service learning in the curriculum. I mean, a very strong reason for me personally uh, to become a, a Roots and Shoots school is just that whole concept of service learning and that, that service learning will be infused into the curriculum and um, that we will encompass those, um, those qualities and those principles of care and compassion for animals, the environment, and the human community. Hillside begins as an educational center for young people in the community. It utilizes full experience, integration into curriculum, enrichment clusters during and after school, environmental programs like the Forest Fest and the Environmental Leaders and Protectors Program, as well as service learning and habitat partners within the community. The knowledge the students gain through these programs should lead to compassion and ultimately to action. The students at Hillside devote much time to care for and show compassion for animals, the environment, and the human community. The Meadows and Trails program has created six and a half acres of trails through the forest in which they have worked relentlessly to care for and create habitats and ecosystems. They have built a butterfly garden, a sunflower garden, wetlands, and wildflower meadows, all in an effort to create havens for wildlife, promote diversity, and increase the native plant population. We're here because a little girl named Jane and a little girl named Katrina and countless other little girls and boys had parents and grandparents who supported and nurtured their loves and their passions and their desires. And so what we have today is because all of those little children grew up to make what we see today this extraordinary thing that will not, not just happen for the children of Hillside today, but for many, many years in the future. We also have a strong peace initiative. Our most important message is that every individual makes a difference every day, and you cannot live through a day without impacting the world around you, and you have a choice as to the kind of impact that you want to make. Thank you, Kelly. We'll be looking forward to hearing more about Hillside's environmental endeavors in the future. That wraps it up for this episode of Inside BR, the show that takes an inside look at the happenings in the Bridgewater-Raritan School District. I'm Mike Santini, and thank you for watching, and have a terrific day.